What's up, everybody? We're back with the Outer Worlds here. And this is the doctor we're supposed to talk to, I think. Can't say I've seen you before. I take it you're a freighter, Captain? Sure, no. If you're here to better yourself, you'll have to wait. We're having a spot of trouble with our delivery service. Wheeler told me to tell you to get off his ass about your shipment. He says your shipment won't be coming in soon. He must be referring to Erion. I'm sure the fool's gotten himself into another scrape. I'm beginning to wonder if I'm ever going to get my service mechanicals at this rate. Who's Erion? Our delivery man. A brave idiot with a penchant for getting himself delayed. Sometimes by dates, usually by bandits. What do you need mechanicals for? <clears throat> Surgery, mostly. Medical personnel are difficult to come by on Groundbreaker. Why's that? The board won't let their doctors and nurses station here, and they own all the medical schools. If we can't hire their people, we can't hire anyone. Everyone on staff here on Groundbreaker was trained by me or Idris. We're good, don't get me wrong. But we've only two heads between us, and we don't know everything. I could try to find him. I'd be grateful if you'd spare the time. We need his delivery soon as yesterday. Last he told me, he was taking a shortcut by Scylla, an asteroid in the Charybdis Cluster. That's where I'd start, were I the adventuring type. You look out, though. The place is probably crawling with outlaws. Alright, well... Restricted access. So that, I need a... Marday ID cartridge. You found an ID cartridge used with the holographic shroud. You will now be automatically disguised when entering the associated restricted area. Your holographic shroud has activated, giving you temporary access to this restricted area. Moving drains the shroud's energy. When it runs out, personnel will see and interrogate you. T talk your way out of the interrogation to reset your shroud, it will get harder to talk your way out the more you are interrogated. Oh, interesting. So we need to find the person and get out of here. sent me. What? Why? Everything's fine. We're all fine here. No need for her to be worrying her pretty little head about me. I'm just terrible, dreadful sick is all. Got a cough that won't quit and sores all over my body. Highly, lethally contagious. But I'll be fine, so long as I'm left alone. She is worried about you a lot. Criminy. She really ain't gonna drop this, is she? Alright, okay. We can discuss this like the level-headed folk that we are. Seems I've got to do something before Ellie goes jabbering my business to anyone with one ear and an intent to listen. The truth is, I'm not sick. But if you repeat what I'm about to tell you to anyone, I will deny it with my dying breath. You, uh, ain't with the board, are you? No. See, I owe them. A lot. I might have missed a payment or two, and the other night I swear someone was following me back to my room. So I hold up here to lay low. What did you do to get... What did you do that got you into trouble? What? No, I didn't do anything. I'm a law-abiding denizen of this ship, I swear. Yeah, you think the board had someone to follow you and now you're hiding out. Think? No. I recognize a contracted killer when I see one, thank you. In my line of work, that's a skill you develop during week one. Assuming you want to keep breathing. Alright, I'll fess this part up too. If it means you'll help me. I'm a thief. I specialize in particularly high-end and historically valuable items. Three weeks back, I caught rumor that the Blood Tear Diamond, last worn by an heiress on the Lost Hope, had surfaced for the first time in 70 years. So you stole it. If I had, you think I'd be hiding out in the Med Bay? I was gonna steal it, 
lined up Udom as my buyer, he paid half up front to finance the operation. Let's just say yeah. things went sideways about the time I got my hands on the diamond, and it crumbled to stardust in my palm. Anywho, I barely made it out with my life, and nary a plan to make back Udom's deposit I'd spent. Uh, sure. Udon Bedford's the board guy on the station. He'd know how I stand with them. If you can square things for me, I'd owe you one even bigger than Ellie owes me. I'll talk to Udon for you. Thanks for helping me with the board. You're a real pal. Or I guess I should say, Ellie is one, huh? I gotta get out of here before my disguise runs off. Like that. <laughs> Kinda cool actually. Alright, let's go talk to this Udom guy. Oh, come on. How do you do? Oh, how might I assist you? I'm here to talk about Jesse Doyle. Miss Doyle owes the board a significant sum. Alas, the only collateral she has is her organs. Compulsory donation is quite legal in such cases. Persuade 20. She's worth more alive than dead. Put her under an in indentured contract. That's not unreasonable. What guarantee do I have that she'll agree to the terms you negotiate? Way well, yeah, I see it, she doesn't have much choice. None, I suppose, but if she doesn't show up for work, kill her like you planned. Two. I quite concur. It's refreshing to deal with someone practical for a change. I will recall my collection agent. Tell Miss Doyle to report to me promptly for her first assignment. Now, is there anything else you need, or can I return to my work? Nope, that's it. Engineering. You look like someone who's taken their share of cuts and bruises. Need some armor? Maybe it's a bit secondhand, but that's only a testament to its durability. We also have a line of specialized melee weapons. For those times you have to repel borders, but don't want to risk a bullet through the hull. Sure, let me see what you got. Well, that looks cool. Officer Spine. One-handed melee? What's this? One-handed melee, 133 DPS. Plasma Cutter. Crazy. Dang, I don't have enough money for that. There's some heavy armor. Dude, you're expensive. Holy crap. If you're hungry, you've come to the right place. I've got a fresh ground batch of Spratwurst cooking. They're terrified to lock in the juices. How about a grinder's dozen? Uh, no. Miss Lilia takes good care of us, see? The authorities stay up. Salvage is a family business. We've got each other's back. Where's this go? CNP Borston Baked Beans. When you need to eat and run, Borston Baked Beans is the only. Rhythm's not loud. 
Well, if I had a card, I could get in there. Marday ID cartridge. No one saw that, right? What's this up here? Security blade. Protective clothing with safety harness. Ooh, a dead guy up here. Can I... Oh, oh that's not a door. Ow! Mother trucker! Oh, okay. Well, that was kind of weird. So can I go in here now? I can, yes. Crap, I can go in there. Plasma rifle. What's that? A hoop. Can't get in there. Impact hammer, bolter pistol. Gotta be something I can do in here, right? Unless you're here to file an incident report or... Science skill sucks. Mind attributes, is that science? Hacking a personality.
attributes plus one body attributes mind attributes so I don't have anything Personality attributes, but I don't think I don't think that'll work. Four out of twenty five, nope. All right, well, it's time to get out of here. Never did find that weapon, I don't know. A second what do you want fancy running into you again don't mind me gotta hand it to you boss that's a fine looking ship only thing it's missing is me uh... yes I absolutely am just give me a shot that's all I'm asking I could be the best damn crew you ever hired Why should I hire you? You're serious. You're giving me a shot. All right. Uh, hang on. Hang on. I put together a little speech, just in case you asked. Hey there. I'm Felix Millstone. I have prepared a list of reasons why I believe you should hire me to join the crew of your ship and or outlaw gang. Are you reading off your hand? Yeah. It's a second draft. Firstly, I am highly personable, and I get along well with anyone who is not of the jackass persuasion. Uh, secondly, I can be counted on in the event of a firefight, standoff, and or raid. My motto is, if you need a steady gun hand, I'm your man. That motto is a, it's a work in progress. Additionally, I have several years of experience as a box hauler. This skill may come in handy if you need a body dragged away or a door held open while escaping enemy fire. In conclusion, thank you for considering me for your ship crew and or outlaw gang. I look forward to our adventures together. What do you think? Am I in? <laughs> I haven't made up my mind about you. How about an interview? Sure. An interview. That sounds fair. I mean, first time for everything, right? Ask me anything you like. Uh, intelligence. What's the value of pie? Uh, it's delicious. <laughs> Mock apple pie and a triple kale crust. Maybe with a little cream on top. Classic. Are you any good in a fight? Are you kidding? I love a good fight. One time... I took an autoloader's head clean off its servos with one swing of a tossball stick. You can count on me in a scrap, boss. That's a promise. What's your biggest flaw? Foreman told me my biggest problem was that I didn't take orders. I told him my problem is not with authority, it's with jackasses. So yeah, I guess my biggest flaw is that I don't suffer idiots. Hope that's not a deal breaker. Wow. <laughs> you don't know how long I've been waiting to hear that. 
Thanks, boss. You're not gonna regret this. Companion, you can gain a companion. Um, you can unlock, but can I? Companion perks. Felix can now join the party. No. Good, you're back. Not that I missed you. I assure you, I am not capable of such emotional capacity. Welcome back, Captain. How can I... Okay, well, I need to go somewhere. Where do I need to go? It says I need to go here for some dumb reason. Terra too. We are now in orbit above Edgewater, Captain. Interesting. So we're back on Edgewater. That's on. Whoa. And instantly get in a fight. Oh, you tried to trick me, huh? I don't have a companion, so stop. All right, well, we're going to go ahead and end it here, and we'll pick up in the next one. So, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more Outer Worlds coming your way. And as always, I will catch you in the next one.